live from Dodger Stadium, Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Washington Nationals taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. So here's the lefty, James Paxton. Well, this guy featuring that straight forcing fastball, but off of it throws the cutter and really he's most effective when he's using that cutter off the four seam fastball just to miss the barrel of the bat not always going to see the swings and misses but if you can somehow get weaker contact you have a chance to collect some outs now it's going to look the same until the very last second so hitters are going to have to make a decision and hope that sometimes they're able to guess right that's off the mark and it's a ball to strike Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. And yep, that's outside. That And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. And ball one. Paxton in his 10th season 35 years old and he was born in Canada one out base is empty popped up foul territory behind the plate and there are two outs here's Dave Martinez lineup for the Nationals this is an offense Chris that's having a hard time scoring runs right now yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is players press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Now it's going to be Joey Manessis. and deals slapped foul two down nobody on in the air right field and that That's lands in no man's land a foul ball and now the lefty Bounced up the middle. Lux. Jump throw across his body. They get the out, and that will do it. And the Dodgers are coming up to hit. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine, our starter in this one, Mackenzie Gore. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's the veteran shortstop, Mookie Betts. Not shortstop. Obviously, a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. That one finds the zone. 0 one, one They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit, you know, both sides in terms of pitchers' arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. 
kick. Sandios. Got him. Now one away. Miguel Rojas at the play. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And first offering is fouled off. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. That misses the zone, and the count is one and one. When you played, did you play with guys that you thought were clutch, and sort of what were the attributes you said, that's what he possesses that allows him to come through? Well, we always used to joke, you know, guys want to eat steak, and there were some that just had a knack, could understand it. All right, this is a, a big time now for Dave Roberts' lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, James Outman. And, Boog, you and I were talking about him before the game. He's got good speed, and if you watch him in this game, he's that type of guy that's very smart. He doesn't have this just eye-popping speed, but he knows how to use it, and he's very intelligent on the base pass to get to the next base, to get around the bases, and ultimately score runs. Two outs, bases empty. Next pitch is outside. That's a laser base hit. So the inning is still alive with Will Smith coming to the dish. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And up to the plate is Will Smith. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Two outs. That's inside. That oh, one misses, fly. and that's ball three. Freeman off the first with two away. And that one oh, off the inside oh, edge. You walked him. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen Not him give good. up walks in the past, oh, and it's an good. issue once again yeah. early on. And now oh, it's Max three. Muncy. Ball oh. one, no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Left-hand hitter waits. Lifted in the air, right field. He's under it. He's got it. And that will end the inning. On to the second now from Dodger Stadium. No score. Back here in L.A., here's Jesse Winker. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, to try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Ball Next pitch is outside. The lefty fires. And it is two and one. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. The wind of the pitch. 
just outside. Full count now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three, two. Battling here as he fouls it away. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Here's Lane Thomas. In the air, center field. On his way over. Corrals it. And there's two away. That is it. The first baseman. Two outs, Joey base is empty. Gallo. Next to hit for the Nats, Joey Gallo. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Left-hand batter waits. Fought off foul. Second inning here, no score. Swings and sends a rocket to right. And that is that. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied, nothing, nothing. And welcome back to Leading the ballpark. The Here's Dodgers. Teoscar Hernandez. The right fielder. Teoscar Hernandez. And a pitch. And that one hammered. Bounces over the wall in foul ground, and it's an automatic double. Well, this tends to happen more often in this park than others, and that short fence is just so inviting for hitters. You see a lot of balls bounce over for an automatic double when no one can run it down. James Outman, the next to hit. Hey. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. All one's the count. And it's second. Well, that's off the plate. In there. And so now one and two. Outside. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. Bottom half of inning number two. pitch cut on and miss struck him out not what you're looking for after the leadoff double a strikeout and there's one away here's Kike Hernandez that misses one and oh the pitch and that's outside. Next offering upstairs. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. And there's the automatic. 
Hernandez the runner at second with one away. Fouled off he was late. Three two now. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle finding the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. And now it's Gavin Lux. And that's in there for strike one. Runners at first and second with one gone. Oh, he doesn't get the call. One and one. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. One out. Runners at first and second. Him out looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Now it's the shortstop, Mookie Betts. Right through there for a strike. one now and that one fouled off two outs a couple of base runners at first and second the shortstop takes the ball oh two fastball way out of the zone I think he's trying to speed him up got to stay back off speeds probably coming the pitch down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Up with it, fires to first. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. Dodgers strand a couple. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Here's the second baseman, Ildemaro Vargas. In the air, fairly deep to right field. He's there. He's got it. And a quick out, number one. The pepper, Riley. At the play, Riley. Riley Adams. That one finds the zone. Strike one. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. That's in there, and that's strike two. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Not close with that one. Now one and two. Top of the third, no score. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Trey Lipscomb digging in for the Nationals. Misses oh, off the play, and it's one to know. And here it comes. Two oh. balls, no strikes to count. Two balls, no strikes. That one fouled off.
Two down, nobody on. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. And that is that. Nine straight retired here to start the game. No score. And we're back. Ladies Bottom of the Miguel inning. Dunham. Digging in. Miguel Rojas. Miguel Rojas. Gore back to work. Right through there for a strike. And he pumps it a strike. Next offering way off the plate. Fights it off. He'll see another. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a ball evens the count. Swing and a ball popped up. Has this one sized up? And out number one on the grab. The first baseman, number five, Freddie. Here Freeman. comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. One for one with a single so far. In the air, right side, Thomas under this one. Squeezes it, and there's two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. The catcher. The batter now will be Will Smith. He reached out a walk his first time. And there's a foul ball. At the belt and fires. Misses nope, outside. outside, and that is ball one. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later yeah. in this at-bat. Swing and a miss, one and the count 1-2. and two. And he chases that one. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Dodgers go down quietly, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here at Chavez Ravine, and now number 30. Jacob Young. The wind of the pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Well, these Nats just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much oh, of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. That pitch gets the inside corner. One and two. One and as a pitcher, two when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep Freeman. eating right out of your hand. Throw on to Freeman, and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff, man. Got him swinging on that pitch away to finish him off, but everything early in the at-bat was in tight. Really challenged him in there with some competitive pitches, not letting him get his hands extended, but... Of course, that eventually opens up the outside part of the plate, and he just wasn't able to adjust. Here's the shortstop at the plate. C.J. Abrams. Wouldn't Whoa. chase that time. The Nats still looking for their first hit in this one. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Well, we call that key holy. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Up now for Washington, Joey Meneses. And that's outside. Meneses, 31 years old, and he's a native of Mexico. Pitch nope. misses outside. outside, and the count is 2 and 0. Oh. Close, but called a ball. And now 3 and 0. Oh. All tied up, top half of inning number four. That one finds the zone. Three balls and a strike. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Hernandez has it sized up. And that'll do it. On to the bottom of the fourth now. Still with no score. Bottom four, here comes Max Muncy. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Here comes a pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. 0 and 1. And a pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Swings and misses. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Clips the corner. That's strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And he deals. At the ball. That one missed. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Yeah, the two on hammered but foul. And now the lefty. Good job to fight that one off. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. That one way outside. Full count three and two. Mm. 
ninth pitch of the at bat do next. Got him looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. And next for L.A., James Outman. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Gets the call. That's strike one. All one for count. The pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Just off the inside corner. And the count one and two. It's a good take. One two goes down looking Dodgers down in order still no score ready now for the fifth inning and now up for Washington Jesse Winker Paxton back to work and a good eye there. You know, these Nationals, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt, but it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. Ball to strike. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Hernandez sizing it up. Makes the catch. And there's one down. And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. Lane Thomas digging in for the Nationals. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Ripped on a line. Fernandez snags it for the second out. The batter, the first baseman, Joey Gallo. And now it's Joey Gallo. 0 for 1 so far. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. And another ball. 2 0 count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges, really execute a pitch. Hopefully, you can get back into this count. Two outs. Foul ball there. The wind and the pitch. Swings and misses. And out two and two. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing for Washington, and we are still scoreless. Back here in L.A., ready to go for the last half of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Kike Hernandez. As the lefty gets to work, just missed. You know, these Dodgers doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb. So they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. Kicks and fires. In the air, right field. On the run towards the line. Got it. Really had to move for that grab. One down. So digging in, Gavin Lux. Struck out looking at his first at bat.
And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take the lead. And ball another two. ball. Two balls, no strike. Line drive, base hit. And that turns the lineup over. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. It appears Dave Martinez is ready to dive into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Mackenzie Gore out of the game. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Now on the bump, Robert Garcia. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Now it's Mookie Betts. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug, uh, these type of home run totals. Strike one to Mookie Betts. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Kicks and deals. Too high. Oh. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Inside, almost got him. One away, tie game, go ahead, run, stands at first. Last half of inning number five. Check swing, appeal to first. No swing, just held it back there. 3-2. And a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Two on, one out. And now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, Miguel Rojas. First oh, pitch doesn't find the zone. Lux, the runner at third, bets at first, one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Matt Barnes looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Down the line. Brings it in. Runner tags from third. He'll scoop on the sack fly on the board first. It's one zip. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Bounced out to short. They take the force out. Third out, and that ends the frame. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. We're through five. It's the Dodgers one and the Nationals nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium. All set for the start of the inning. Up now for Washington, Ildemaro Vargas. The wind of the pitch. Fastball in for a strike going one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. And a pitch. 
And that one is lifted in the air. Lux gets under it. Hauls it in for the out. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Now the batter now, Riley Adams. First pitch, and he just misses. The Nationals hitless so far in the game. Rips one to right. And it goes just foul. Wow, that was just foul. Very close to maybe being extra bases there. The pitch. Fought off foul. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top half of the sixth. And ball. another ball. Next pitch is outside. Ground ball up the middle, and that one handled. Slings the first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. The batter, the third baseman, Trey Lipscomb. Trey Lipscomb will hit next. He popped out his first time. This to center field. Outman sizing this one up. No trouble here. Picks it away for the out. And that is that. So he's perfect through six. It's the Dodgers one and the Nationals nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's the catcher, Will Smith. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home instead of Dodgers. This one's fair down the line and left. And it's going to be extra bases. The throw is wild and it gets away. And he's going to get to second with nobody out. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Here's Max Muncie, that funky Muncie. Swings through that. Oh, and one. That oh. misses. Yeah, the count even one and one. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Man, it's second. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. And another ball. Wouldn't Please, chase dude. that time. And down on strikes he goes. And one gone. Well, oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Now, really right locked here. him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're Third, looking for. Down. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was full. Intentional walk coming here. And that sets up the double play possibility. With one away and runners at first and second. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. 
Swings through that one for strike one. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. That one off the mark. And that's ball one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Yeah, there's a ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. In the air, out towards right center. Drops into the glove. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like well, him, he is Go looking lucky. forward to making up for he it can. in his next at bat. So first and second with two outs. Enrique Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He's 0 for 1. There's a strike. Two on, two outs. High fly ball out into left center field. Winker should have it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And the inning is over. Dodgers strand a couple. They lead it 1 0. And we're back. We go to the top of the seventh. And now here's the Nationals leadoff man. Number 30. The pitch. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on and see if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next offering is downstairs. Hit on a line, and that's a base hit. And that ends the perfect game bid. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Well, he's been absolutely lights out on the mound all the game, and I really thought he might pull off some history here, Boo. He had that look, no doubt. Perfect games are so tough, though. It's one of the rarest feats in sports for a reason. Next to hit for the Nats, C.J. Abrams. Strike one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed oh, in here. Yeah. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. With the tying run on at first, here are the top half of inning number seven. Squares to bunt, but that rolls foul. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. The yeah. shortstop takes the ball. The pitch. That's off the mark. Two and two. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. And here it comes. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Well, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. Joey Manessis now at the plate. Bounce to third. Over to second for one. Double play. Then he can't seem to break through. Inning over. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. Matt Barnes gets the nod out of the bullpen. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Gavin Lux to steps Good to the plate Dodgers. for the Dodgers. The One for two. Gavin Lux. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball, third base side. 
Barnes measures six feet four inches. He throws a curveball, a four seamer, and occasionally works in a splitter. That one down the line, Lipscomb. And he beats the throw. Shows off the wheels right there, an infield single. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. Here's Mookie now, one for three. Misses inside. Ball one. And Mookie out. takes. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Kyle Finnegan, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Nobody out. Runner at first. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Moving under it. He makes the grab. And there's one away. Up next to Dobson, the designated hitter, Miguel Rojas. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. There's a strike. One run game, one out, one on. Righty to the plate. In the dirt. He's in there. And that's a wild pitch as he moves into scoring position. You know, sometimes it takes a reliever a little time to get comfortable with the mound out there, especially when they come in trying to be nasty with every pitch they throw. Not exactly what they were looking for when they called him in, though. We'll see if he can settle down. Barnes. He's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff that results in a ton of strikeouts in a tough spot like this. That is a big time benefit. Man at second. Left field. Winker should have it. Makes the grab for the second out. Now, as a hitter, when a guy like this comes into the game, you feel like he's standing on top of you. And it's just attack mode coming right at you, expecting to get a swing and miss. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And that's downstairs and outside. Freeman hits it in the air. And that will fall. Lux headed for the plate. He'll score, and they lead by two. Got the job done to put him up by two. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. Runner at first with two away. And now the catcher comes up to hit. Will Smith. Up and nope. in. And that's ball one. Two outs and a foul ball. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Back-to-back -back base hits. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield and... Even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Muncie oh. in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Oh. 
That one misses. Yeah, that's ball two. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Two on, two outs. Right through there for a strike. That one fouled off, two and two. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly what the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never Careful. does. And you're tied up. Teoscar Hernandez getting on deck circle. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. They get a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Dodgers two and the Nationals nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine, here's the left fielder, Jesse Winker. Paxton back to work. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Evan Phillips looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Bottom of the zone and a cold strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. That one misses. Going to count one and two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. The one-two. Struck him out looking. That right there will drive you crazy as a hitter. That pitch has no business being called a strike. It's definitely not what the pitcher was trying to do with the curveball in any count, let alone a two-strike count. So the umpire right there, he's just rewarding a bad pitch. Lane Thomas getting ready to hit. That one's in there. Strike one. The Dodgers holding on to a two-run lead, and we're in the top of the eighth. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Outman raging back towards the wall. Grabs it right up against the wall. Thought that was a no-doubter. Like the wind was holding that in this ballpark. Two outs, space is empty. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. Just missed. That no, just misses, cool. and it's 2 and 0. Oh. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball. Two outs. That's inside. Three and two now. Ildemaro Vargas in the on deck circle for the Nats. Payoff pitch. 
And he walked him. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Now Ildemaro Vargas digging in for the Nationals. That misses the zone. 1 and 0. Oh. Gallo leads off first with two down to the inning. That one nope. close ruled a ball. 2 and 0. Oh. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. The tying run at the plate. Now a pop up on the infield on the move makes the grab and that's the inning Nationals leave one and they're down to nothing back now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth Tanner Rainey pretty tight game so they're looking for quality pitches out of them right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. The right fielder. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches oh may be a good complement to that fastball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip and cap. He swings and fouls one off. One down, base is empty. And it's one and one. Activity in the bullpen. Kyle Finnegan looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. And a 1 1. Breaking ball in there for a strike. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. He caught it behind his back. And that's a great play for the out. Now batting, the left fielder. Kike Hernandez. Now the left fielder, Kike Hernandez. Pitch oh. misses, ball one. Ball one, no strike. Righty delivers. That one ripped, but foul. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next offering Damn. is down low. Right through there for a strike. In the air out to center. Sizes this one up. And puts the squeeze on that one. And the inning is over. Looks like he's heading back out for the ninth as he'll go for the shutout when we get back. Back here at Dodger Stadium. We go to the ninth. And it's the catcher for the Nationals, Riley Adams. The lefty fires. Ball one there. Counts one and oh. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. 
Now he'll turn for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. All over that one right there. Fastball pretty much middle, middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. James Paxton won't go any further tonight. Really solid performance out of him as he leaves with a slim lead. We'll take a break. New arm when we get back. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Evan Phillips. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. In there at the knees for a strike. That one way inside. With the tying run at the plate, here at the top of the ninth. And fouled off. Tying run at the plate. Out towards left center. Sizing this one up. He's got it, and there's one down. And now here's the Nationals' leadoff man. And he lays down a bunt. Bare hands it. Tough play. No, Not in time. He's safe. Maybe a little small ball is exactly what the doctor ordered to rev up this offense and they've been pretty quiet all game so maybe this wakes them up a bit and helps them get on the board. Runners at the corners here one away and now C.J. Abrams. Close nope, one doesn't get the call. And it's one to know. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Two on, one out. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, Boo. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. First and third, one down. and misses it's a strikeout you hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach and that's a great example why right there if he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt on the other side still a nice two strike pitch though last chance for the Nats in this one and next is the designated hitter Joey Manessis and he's swinging to miss on one Swing and a pop-up. 
He'll squeeze it for the final out, and the Dodgers use two pitchers to combine for the shutout. Well, a low-scoring ball game in this one. Two-nothing game, few errors, pretty clean. That's kind of what you want to see in terms of defense and pitching. A couple of runs was all it took to get the W today. Two-nothing, your final here in this one. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.